MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. There is no radiation involved in MRI as it uses the magnetic field and radio waves. It can be used to provide detailed imaging of organs in the body. Cardiac MRI is an imaging modality used to evaluate the heart size, structure, function and characterize heart tissue. There are many reasons to have a cardiac MRI scan. A cardiac MRI may be requested to look at your heart structure and function, look for disease of the heart muscle, look at the valves, or identify congenital heart disease abnormalities at birth. It can also be used to assess the adequacy of the blood supply to your heart and look for any evidence of previous heart attack damage. It can show where the heart attack is and the extent of the heart attack. It's almost like having a biopsy of your heart as the MRI scan can look inside the heart muscle and tell us if there is scarring, edema or inflammation of the heart which may signify certain diseases. Although cardiac MRI is rapidly becoming widely available, not every hospital offers this service, so you may be referred to the nearest specialist hospital. When you arrive to book yourself in at reception, you will be given a safety checklist to go through to screen if it's safe for you to have a cardiac MRI scan. You will change into a hospital gown to ensure there are no metallic objects in your clothing. Metallic objects such as replacement valves, stents and sternal wires are all safe to have a cardiac MRI. Intracardiac electronic devices such as pacemakers and cardiac defibrillators will get checked to ensure they are MRI safe. Your device may be adjusted to ensure it doesn't interfere with the scan. Most cardiac MRI departments have a protocol for these types of situations. You will then have a plastic tube called a cannula placed in your arm so that the contrast can be administered. On average, a cardiac MRI scan takes about 30 to 45 minutes, but allow up to two hours for your appointment. The duration of a cardiac MRI depends on the protocol used and the center, particularly an academic center that may include additional research protocols that may lengthen the duration of the scan. When you enter the scan room, the radiographer will ask you to lay down on your back with your head pointed to the scanner. Next, three ECG leads will be placed to check your heart rhythm and rate so the image acquisition is coordinated with your heartbeat. A coil will be secured on your chest, which works as an antenna to capture the images. The radiographer will also practice breath holds with you to ensure you are prepared when prompted to breath hold during the scan. MRI machines are very loud when the images are being taken. To protect your hearing, you'll receive over-the-ear headphones and you'll be able to hear the radiographer during the scan, who will give you instructions. The radiographer will be in another room but will monitor you closely through the glass and from all the monitors attached to you. They will give you instructions and plan subsequent images. A contrast dye may be used and most centers use gadolinium. Once you complete your scan, it will be reported by a cardiologist or a radiologist and will be sent to the referring doctor. There are a few contraindications that means you are not able to have the scan. If you are not able to lie flat or have extreme claustrophobia, you will not be able to tolerate the scan. Also, in very few cases, if your pacemaker or defibrillator is deemed MRI unsafe, then another imaging modality may be suggested rather than having a cardiac MRI scan. Have you had a cardiac MRI? Tell us how your experience was in the comments below. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.